U.S. Postal Christmas Exchange, drop-off toy drive, and a photo and profile, profile virtual shoot. In January of 2021, our MLK day of service was writing and sending postcards to the veterans, HBCU virtual college tour, and learning how to prepare as the CEO of our own businesses. February, preparation for the entrepreneur program, overnight retreat with veterans, uh, group sessions of beauty, emotions, and health. The deputants dance, play games, and produce a group tick. Top. In March, presented their entrepreneur projects, produced video presentations to honor their moms, and attended their second virtual HBCU college fair. In April, they designed and presented the mother-daughter luncheon. They had a beautiful church service and held a financial fund drive for them to help Gateway Michael, a St. Louis intercity public school for the severely handicapped children of the ages 4 to 14. Thank you for all the time that we spent with the deputants. Also, thank you to um, the president, the vice president, our chairman, and the committee for all the hard work working with the deputants and their families. And now, for your MC this evening, I am honored to introduce Mrs. Michelle Sanders, a dedicated Bachelorette committee member that has been working with the committee for 37 years. You will hear in her voice as an MC the true love that she has for the Bachelorette program, Miss Sanders. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted and honored to serve as your commentator for the 37th annual 2021 Bachelorette virtual presentation, sponsored by Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Jam Omega Chapter. Ivy Alliance Foundation. This evening, 10 lovely and talented young ladies will be presented to our community. I am feeling the joy of anticipation and suspense in the air. Who will be crowned Miss Fashionetta 2021? Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority is the oldest Greek letter sorority in the United States. A native St. Louis, Ethel Hazel Lau, founded the sorority in 1908 at Howard University in Washington, D.C. Gamma Omega is the third oldest graduate chapter. Its members are proud of their heritage and service to the St. Louis community, especially as we commemorated 100 years of service this year. Now for a very special message from Miss Fashionetta 2020, Miss Holland States. Hello, I am Holland Michelle States, Miss Fashionetta 2020. I would like to recognize all of the debutantes and escorts on your commitment and congratulate you on your Fashionetta journey. During my time in Fashionetta, I learned patience, teamwork, and perseverance. The second half of my Fashionetta experience was completely changed due to the pandemic, so I understand the challenges that you all have faced this year. But you have shown your strength and dedication to Fashionetta. I hope all of you enjoyed being a part of Fashionetta the way that I did. As you move forward into college, I encourage you to use the skills you developed during Fashionetta and continue to pursue your goals. I am so proud of all of you and wish you the best in your future endeavors. Thank you, Miss Fashionetta 2020, Miss Holland Michelle States, for that wonderful message. Our debutantes are creative, ambitious, competent, and high academic achievers. In the interest of time, only brief profiles of our participants will be presented this evening. More extensive profiles can be found in the Fashionetta program book. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the moment of enchantment and charm for which we all have been waiting, the debutantes of the 2021 Fashionetta Virtual Cotillion. Miss Lauren Camille Agnew. Lauren Camille Agnew is the daughter of Quinn and Mark Agnew. She is being presented by her father. Lauren is a graduate of Hazelwood Central High School, where she was inducted into the National Honor Society and earned varsity letters in color guard and symphonic orchestra. In 2019, Lauren attended the Ambassador Leadership Summit at Harvard Law School, where she and her team created a Lead for Change project, Teens for Teens, to promote mental health awareness and well-being. 
Lauren also participated in the Fashion at a Service Project, the St. Louis History Museum, Teens Make History Program. Lauren plans to pursue a double major in agribusiness and computer science at North Carolina A&T State University or Florida A&M University. Her career goal is to start a nonprofit to support teenagers and children in underserved communities. Lauren's mother is a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Lauren Camille Agnew. Ms. Toriana Abria Baker. Toriana Abria Baker is the daughter of Kavinia Townley and Toriano Baker. She is being presented by her father. Toriana is a graduate of Cardinal Ritter College Prep High School, where she earned academic honors, was a student ambassador, and member of the Key Club. Toriana was also inducted in the National Honor Society this year. Toriana participated in the Fashionetta Community Service Project, St. Louis History Museum, Teens Make History Program. Pursuing her passion for baking, Toriana turned her dream into a business. She is now a bakery entrepreneur and CEO of Confection Cartel. Toriana plans to attend Loyola University, New Orleans to pursue a Bachelor of Science in Clinical Psychology. Her long-range plan is to earn a Doctor of Psychology with a concentration in adolescents' mental health. Several of her relatives are members of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Toriana Abria Baker. Miss Kristen Danae Bills. Kristen Danae Bills is the daughter of Brian and Angelia D. Mills. She is being presented by her father. Kristen is a graduate of Rittner Senior High School. She was a four-year honor student, recipient of the Top Teen Award and Superheroes Award. She also earned varsity letters for academic achievement for 2017 through 2019. Her excellent curricular activities included Best Pharmacy Summer Institute, Computer Village Summer Camp, and Health Occupation Students of America. In 2018, she was recognized as a Matthews Dickey's Boys and Girls Club Sheer Elegance Pageant Honoree. Kristen plans to pursue a Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering at Alabama A&M University. Her mother is a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kristen Today Bills. Ms. Landis R. Bingham. Landis R. Bingham is the daughter of Galen Bingham and Monique Garris Bingham. She is being presented by her father. Landis is a graduate of Mary Institute and Country Day School, where she participated in the African American Mentor Program and played girls varsity soccer for three years. Landis was also selected by Governor Mike Parsons as Missouri's sole representative to the National Youth Science Camp. 
She is a member of Jack and Jill of America Incorporated St. Louis Chapter, where she has served as treasurer, historian, and member of the nominating committee for the teen group. To assist with the prevention of food insecurity and hunger in her community, Landis volunteers at the St. Louis University Campus Kitchen Food Outreach and with various other organizations. Landis will attend Spelman College to pursue a major in biochemistry. Her career goal is to be a biochemistry researcher. Landis's mother and grandmother are members of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Landis R. Bingham. Ms. Victoria Justine Brown. Victoria Justine Brown is the daughter of April Hendricks Brown and Theotis Brown III. She is being presented by her father. Victoria is a graduate of Parkway Central High School, where she was a Link Crew leader, participant in the Missouri A Plus program, and Spark Experiential Learning. Victoria is a member of Kinlock Church of God, where she sings in the mass choir and is a member of the junior Sunday school class. She volunteers at St. Louis County Pet Adoption Center and enjoys creating artwork using diverse mediums such as ceramics, painting, and sketching. One of her ceramic creations was displayed at the Parkway All District Art Show at Queenie Park. Victoria plans to pursue a bachelor's degree in elementary education with a minor in art at Northwest Missouri State University. Her career goal is to be an elementary school teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Victoria Justine Brown. Ms. Jordan Elaine Davis. Jordan Elaine Davis is the daughter of Claudia Davis and Ronald Davis. She is being presented by her father. Jordan is a graduate of Pattonville High School, where she earned academic honors during her senior year. She was homeschooled freshman through junior year of high school and participated in the Life Light Theater for homeschoolers. Jordan is a member of Willot Road Community Church, where she participates with the worship and praise team and volunteers in the Oasis Food Pantry. Jordan also volunteered in the Fashionetta Community Service Project, St. Louis History Museum, Teens Make History Program. Jordan plans to attend Stevens College to pursue a bachelor's degree in psychology. Her career goal is to be a clinical psychologist. Jordan's mother is a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Jordan Elaine Davis. Ms. Lauren Nicole Donovan. Lauren Nicole Donovan is the daughter of Tracy Julian Donovan and Eric Donovan. She is being presented by her father. Lauren is a graduate of Ledoux Hart and Watkins High School. She was a member of the National Honor Society, track and field team, and cheer squad. During her junior and senior years, she served as president of the Social Justice League and vice president and secretary of RISE, 
Ledoux's Black Student Union. Her article, When History Class Feels Like Propaganda, A Student's Perspective, was featured in the January 2021 issue of Education Week magazine. Lauren serves as team president of the Jack and Jill of America Incorporated St. Louis Chapter Teen Group. Lauren plans to pursue a major in political science at Howard University. Lauren's mother is a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lauren Nicole Donovan. Miss Nde Fatou Gise. Nde Fatou Gise is the daughter of Rhonda Ballou and Aliyum Gise. She is being presented by family friend Mr. Malik Ahmed. Fatou, as she is affectionately called, is a graduate of Incarnate Word Academy. During her high school tenure, she received first honors and served as team manager for the Incarnate Word Academy track team. Fatou was a Crafting a Future Fellow at Craft Alliance Center in Art Design and an intern at Craft Alliance Summer Arts Camp, where she assisted with teaching pottery, metal art, and fiber art lessons. She volunteered with the City of St. Louis Voter Census Registration Programs and with organizations helping to provide health and social care to underserved communities in St. Louis, Senegal, and Gambia, West Africa. Fatou will attend Hampton University to pursue a double major in graphic design and criminal justice. Fatou's mother is a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Nde Fatou Gise. Miss Amor Jones. Amor Jones is the daughter of Adam and Miranda Jones. She is being presented by her father. Amor is a graduate of Clayton High School. She served as president of the Clayton High School Black Student Union, played girls varsity softball, and was a member of the concert orchestra and theater program. She is a member of the Sheldon City of Music All-Star Chorus St. Louis and participates in the opera theater's Bears Fun Artists in Training Program. Amor is actively involved in several Better Family Life Incorporated programs. Amor plans to pursue a Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood Education at Tennessee State University. Her career goal is to own a daycare center and teach preschoolers and kindergartners. Amor's mother is a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Amore Jones. Miss Lauren White. Lauren White is the daughter of Lloyd and Tamika White. She is being presented by her father. Lauren is a graduate of Hazelwood Central High School. She was a member of the International Club, Chess Club, Sign Language Club, and played girls varsity soccer. She was named Hazelwood Central Varsity Soccer Rookie of the Year for 2018-19 and Offensive Most Valuable Player for 2017-18. Throughout her high school tenure, she attended the American Youth Foundation National Leadership Conference. Lauren is a member of Believer's Temple Word Fellowship, where she serves as sports camp leader and volunteers in its Feed the Homeless program. 
Lauren participated in the Fashionetta Community Service Project, St. Louis History Museum, Teens Make History. In the fall, Lauren plans to pursue a Bachelor of Science in Biology at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Her career goal is to be a nurse. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lauren White. Ladies and gentlemen, the debutantes of Fashionetta 2021. We are celebrating 37 years of excellence and elegance. A debutante cotillion is a time for parents to introduce their daughters to society in a formal setting. However, with COVID-19 and social distancing restrictions still in place, Gamma Omega Chapter was determined do not let that prevent or interfere with presenting the accomplishments of these young ladies. They have dedicated lots of time and expended lots of energy preparing for their special event. Since November, these young ladies have engaged in a fervent schedule of activities to enhance their social graces, heighten their civic involvement, develop their inner character, and further prepare themselves for college life. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Gamma Omega Chapter, Ivy Alliance Foundation is so very proud of them all. As tradition would have it, dads and special male mentors have had the honor of presenting their debutantes at this special occasion. This evening, these young ladies would like to make a special tribute to their mothers who have helped mold them into the beautiful young ladies they have become. They will be serenaded with The Prayer by Yolanda Adams and Donnie McClurkin. We do not own the rights to this music.
Debutantes and moms, that was beautiful. Thank you so much. As tradition would have it, the Cotillia would not be complete without their traditional father-daughter waltz. They will be serenaded with I Hope You Dance by Gladys Knight. Again, we do not own the rights to this music.
Beautiful. This evening, an admirable group of debutantes have been presented. Each has made significant contributions to their schools and the community. Their accolades are numerous and varied. These young ladies show exemplary high goals and ambitious for future endeavors and have demonstrated outstanding achievements in academics and sports. These debutantes have dedicated a tremendous amount of time toward making this culminating activity so very special, not only for themselves, but for you, their families, and many friends, even in the wake of our continued national pandemic. Please let us all applaud them. I would like to take this time now to acknowledge the chair of Fashionetta 2021, Miss Ruby Grady and co-chairs Mrs. Carla Moore and Mrs. Michelle Sanders, along with the Fashionetta Committee. It is now time for some very prestigious awards to be presented. It is my pleasure to present the president of Gamma Omega Chapter and the Ivy Alliance Foundation who will make these presentations. Mrs. Lanita Blackman. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank our gracious and magnificent commentator for the fantastic job she did this evening. 
Let's virtually applaud her for a, such a superb job, Mrs. Michelle Sanders. On behalf of our virtual guest and the members of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Gamma Omega Chapter, and the Ivy Alliance Foundation, thank you for serving as our commentator for this evening. We truly appreciate your participation and dedication to our cotillion. You have done a yeoman's job. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. Thank you to the Fashionetta Committee chaired by Ms. Ruby Grady, the subcommittee chairman, the Ivy Alliance members and executive board members, our past president's council and the wonderful families for your participation in the 2021 Fashionetta Cotillion. Now, to continue with a special part of the Cotillion, it is indeed an honor and a privilege to acknowledge our multi-talented debutantes this evening and present awards. The awards presented are in recognition of their efforts and successes. The debutantes have all exhibited commitment, determination, and perseverance. They are all deserving individuals. Community service is an important and valued component of Fashionetta. Our debutantes have participated in numerous virtual volunteer community service projects as part of their Fashionetta experience. This evening, I would like to recognize all debutantes for their commitment to volunteerism. Please Zoom way to be recognized. The first award in the amount of $200 is sponsored by the Kenny family in memory of their mother, Mrs. Ann Kenny, a dedicated member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Gamma Omega Chapter, Ivy Alliance Foundation, and the Fashionetta Committee for 35 plus years. This award goes to the debutante who has been voted Miss Congeniality by her fellow debutantes because of her thoughtfulness, pleasant attitude, and sisterly spirit she exhibited throughout the Fashionetta experience. I proudly present and congratulate Miss Congeniality for 2021, debutante Amore Jones. Thank you. The next award is the Janice Richardson Attendance Award in the amount of $150. It is in memory of Janice Richardson, a dedicated and humble member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Gamma Omega Chapter, and the Ivy Alliance Foundation. The award is given to the debutante with exemplary attendance during these past eight months. It gives me great pleasure to present the Janice Richardson Attendance Award in the amount of $150 to debutante Victoria Brown. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the next award is the Lanita Blackman Leadership Award in the amount of $500. This award is sponsored by Mrs. Sandra Murdoch. Ms. Murdoch is a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Gamma Omega Chapter, and the Ivy Alliance Foundation. Mrs. Murdoch is a retired educator and serves the community on numerous boards and gives back to the community to support leadership and college students. This award is given to the debutante that demonstrated exemplary leadership skills during these past eight months. It gives me great pleasure to present the Lanita Blackman Leadership Award in the amount of $500 to debutante Amor Jones. Thank you. The Community Forum Team Award is sponsored by the Honorable Nicole Colbert Botchway, is being presented to the Fashionetta team members, two debutantes who received first place in their entrepreneurial presentation. Debutantes had the opportunity to participate in the Fashionetta Entrepreneur Program. Participates engaged in a team activity, marketing and creating a unique product, which was presented virtually to a panel of judges and the general audience. The teams were judged on their creativity of their products, 
along with the knowledge of the product and the skillful presentations. All presentations were phenomenal. The winning team presented is team number three, get it done. Each team member will receive a book stipend in the amount of $250. The debutants are Landis Bingham and Jordan Davis. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The Talea Bennett and Julian Bennett Community Service Awards, each for $600, is being presented to two debutantes who earned the highest number of school community service hours during their high school career. The awards are funded by Mr. and Mrs. Vince and Christina Bennett, the proud parents of Miss Fashionetta 2015, Talia Bennett, and the 2019 escort, Julian Bennett. It gives me great pleasure to present the Talia Bennett Debutante Community Service Award in the amount of $600 to debutante Toriana Baker. Thank you. And the Julian Bennett Escort Community Service Award in the amount of $600 to debutante Lauren Donovan. Thank you. Congratulations to each of you. The Ethel Hedgeman Lyle Scholarship Award for $1,000 is presented in honor of a truly outstanding woman of achievement, the founder of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. This award is given to the debutante who has met all of the Fashionetta Cotillion requirements and has the highest grade point average for seven semesters of high school work. All grade point averages are verified by either the school counselor or the registrar. All high school students presented today base their grades on either a five point or four point scale. These young ladies are to be commended for their hours of hard work and study. However, only one debutante can be declared the winner of this award. I am pleased to announce the recipient of the $1,000 Ethel Hedgeman Lyle Scholarship. Debutante, Lauren Agnew. Ms. Agnew attended Wood Central Thank High you. School <laughs> and has a grade point average of 3.9. We have additional awards that have been funded by some of our community generous supporters. The Stanley W. Buck MD Science Awards are sponsored by Dr. Stanley W. Buck, one of St. Louis leading nephrologists. The scholarships in the amount of $500 and $250 respectfully are presented to the two fashionetta debutantes who are furthering their education in the area of health, math, or science. Having the highest cumulative grade point averages of the debutantes who will pursue a health or science major and have met all of the requirements of the Fashionetta Cotillion. Dr. Buck's wife, Dr. Victoria Buck, and daughter, attorney Christine, Christina Buck, are members of Gamma Omega Chapter, as well as his late mother, Mrs. Bernstein Buck. I am pleased to present and to congratulate the recipients of the Stanley W. Buck MD Science Awards. The award for $500 is presented to debutante Lauren White. Thank you. The second awardee receiving $250 goes to debutante Kristen Bills. Thank you. The Nathaniel Murdoch MD Health Science Award is for $1,000. Dr. Nathaniel Murdoch, a noted obstetrician and gynecologist in the St. Louis community is the benefactor of this scholarship. 
Dr. Murdoch was one of the staff at Washington University Barnes Jewish Hospital, past president of the National Medical Association and past president of the St. Louis Metropolitan Medical Society. His wife, Mrs. Sandra Murdoch, is a member of Gamma Omega Chapter. The scholarship is awarded to the debutante who is interested in pursuing a career in the health field, has the highest cumulative grade point average among the debutantes who share this interest and has met all of the requirements for the Fashionetta Cotillion. I am pleased to present the Nathaniel Murdoch MD Health Science Award to debutante Toriana Baker. Thank you. The Bohannon Buck Liberal Arts Award is given in memory of the parents of Dr. Stanley and Victoria Buck for their parents, Morris and Ida Bohannon, Joseph and the late Bernstein Buck, who were committed to community service in their respective communities. The award is given to the debutantes who have achieved outstanding grade point averages during their high school tenure, intended to pursue a liberal arts degree and have met all of the requirements of the Fashionetta Cotillion. The debutantes will receive an award in the amounts of $500 and $250. I am pleased to present and to congratulate the recipients of the Bohannon Buck Liberal Arts Award. The award for $500 is presented to debutante Victoria Brown. Thank you. The second awardee receiving $250 goes to debutante Amor Jones. Thank you. Mothers of previous crowned Miss Fashionettas. This award is provided by the mothers of previous crowned Miss Fashionetta in the amount of $500. If presented to a 2021 debutante that has dreamed of being in the Fashionetta Cotillion met the scholarship requirements, will attend a four-year college or university, has the most community service hours, is a member of the National Honor Society, and past participation in Fashionetta. The $500 award is presented to debutante Inde Batu Ise. Thank you. <laughs> Owens Harrington Renewable $2,500 Scholarship is presented in the names of this $2,500 yearly scholarship was created in honor of the late Dr. James Owens and the late Mrs. Colin Harrington. Dr. Owens is the father of Leslie Owens Harrington. He was born in St. Louis, Missouri in 1937 and was a longtime educator for the Southern Illinois Dr. University Edwardsville and the St. Louis Community College District. Miss Harrington is the mother of Dr. Gary C. Harrington. She was born in Malden, Massachusetts in 1935 and was a longtime educator of the Baltimore City Public School and for Morgan State University. The scholarship recipient must attend Howard University and will receive the award for four consecutive years if they remain in good academic standing. The $2,500 renewable award is presented to debutante Lauren Donovan. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and now that special moment that we all have been anxiously waiting has arrived. The crowning of Miss Fashionetta 2021 and her court. Who will be crowned Miss Fashionetta 2021? The 
fourth runner up to Miss Bashanetta 2021 is Miss Toriana Baker. She is receiving a scholarship for $3,000. Thank you. The third runner up for Miss Fashionetta 2021 is Inde Fatu Gise. She is receiving a scholarship for $3,500. Thank you. <laughs> the second runner up 2021 to Miss Fashionetta 2021 is Miss Amar Jones. She is receiving a scholarship for $5,300. Thank you. <laughs> The first runner up to Miss Fashionetta 2021 is Miss Landis Bingham. She is receiving a scholarship for $9,300. Thank you. We are getting closer to that special moment. Miss Fashionetta is a registered trademark of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Through Fashionetta, scholarship money is raised. All of the young ladies who have met the Fashionetta requirements will receive a monetary gift. The young lady who has raised the most money in this effort will be crowned Miss Fashionetta 2021. Hear ye, hear ye. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the much anticipated moment for which we have been patiently and anxiously awaiting. Fashionetta 2021 is receiving a scholarship for $12,500. Miss Fashionetta 2021 is debutante Jordan Elaine Davis. Thank you. <laughs> it has in. It has indeed been a pleasure to meet and present awards to such wonderful, incredible Gamma Omega Chapter 2021 Fashionetta Cotillion participants. Congratulations to all of you. The Fashionetta Souvenir Journal will be available for review and downloaded on the Gamma Omega website. Thank you again. And now for our vice president, Miss Bethany Williams with the closing remarks. Uh, I think I have to hold it. Uh, okay.
congratulations, Miss Fashionetta 2021, debutante Jordan and her royal court. Good evening and thank you for joining the 37th Fashionetta Experience. I am Bethany Williams, the Vice President and Program Chairman of Gamma Omega Chapter and the Ivy Alliance Foundation. You know, this pandemic has changed the logistics of the debutante cotillion, but not the meaning and the purpose of what we're doing here today. Tonight, we've served as witnesses as 10 families have presented their beautiful daughters to society. Over the last eight months, the debutantes have from different schools across the greater St. Louis area have fellowshiped. They've come together for community service. They have excelled in, in trainings from personal trainings to professional development. In Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, a pillow is scholarships. And tonight we've awarded over $55,000 in scholarship to aid in higher education of our debutantes. Thank you to our special donors and everyone that supported the 37th Fashionetta Cotillion experience. Thank you to the members of the Ivy Alliance Foundation, our Fashionetta Chairman, our Fashionetta Co-Chairman, and the Fashionetta Committee. Thank you to the parents and families for allowing the 2021 debutantes to be presented to society through the registered trademark Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated Fashionetta Experience. Once again, congratulations to all of our debutantes as they will all receive scholarships today. Continue to follow Gamma Omega and the Ivy Alliance Foundation on all of our social media accounts as we continue to have more events and impactful community engagements. On behalf of the over 405 members in Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Gamma Omega Chapter and the Ivy Alliance Foundation, we say thank you for joining us tonight and enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a good one.